All right, this is week one of our video blog with UFC 210's Desmond Green, who's going to be making his UFC debut against Josh Emmett. Des, what's going on? And congratulations on the UFC deal. Hey, bro, what's up, man? Thanks, thanks. Uh, we have been uh, we did this last time, and you know you know how bad I wanted to get there. It's like a dream come true for me. So, uh, you know, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Yeah, and we were talking about this off air. Um, you know, we we did one of these before these video blogs in your last uh, Titan fight, and now we'll be doing it up to Buffalo. And the cool thing is, I'm going to be there covering the event live, so it's kind of neat that we'll get to do this uh, going ahead. But the question I think a lot of people want to know: How long had this been in the works? There was talks of you going to Vegas and meeting with the UFC. How did it all sort of come together? Um, yeah, so um, you know, everybody that follows me on my social media, you know. Um, you know, like maybe two months ago, I posted that I was supposed to fly out there and meet with Dana. Um, my manager has set that up. Um, you know, I'm, I'm on like a four or five win streak. Um, I haven't lost since I moved up to 155. You know, I've always been like on the radar. So, you know, um, you know, my manager has Dana like, hey, listen, I got this young guy. You know, uh, he had to go down there anyway. And, uh, you know, he he asked Dana if he, you know, if they could set up a meeting. And Dan's like, yeah, sure. So, uh, you know, when it, it was a couple of days before it was actually supposed to happen, um, Dana had to uh, postpone because, you know, something in the schedule or whatever. So, uh, you know, it was actually, uh, I, was, I told my manager, I'm like, well, you know, basically, I didn't want too much time to go past. You know, I know Dana's busy, so I'm like, all right, well, instead of a meeting, um, you know, if he wants to do a phone conference, that's all the same. Uh, basically, I just wanted to, like, get in touch with him, try to pitch my story. And, uh, you know, originally we were going to see if he tried to, if he wanted to sign us after I won the belt in March, because I was supposed to fight for the Titan belt in March. And, uh, you know, but then that Buffalo card was coming up. So I'm like, I told my manager, I'm like, you know, we talked to him, just throw it out there. You know, I love him. I'm a hometown guy. I went to college there, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, you know, so what happened was he did a, my manager did a phone conference. I wasn't a part of it. Um, and, you know, he's like, all right, listen, I ran everything by Dana. Um, you know, he's kind of interested. He said he's going to try to get you on a Buffalo card. He's going to make some calls, talk with the matchmakers. And then, like, a couple days went by. I kind of thought, I'm like, all right, you know, the three or four days went by. He didn't hear anything. I'm like, all right, you know, maybe it's just, you know, not. he just wasn't feeling it. And then uh, I get a call from my manager at night. And he's like, listen, blah, 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 you're in the UFC. And at first it kind of, like, I was like, I was like, oh, okay, because he's, you know, first he's like, he's like, man, I tried, but Dana said it's, they already have the car built, and I'm like, oh man, all right, I understand. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm just kidding, you're in. And I was like, it didn't click. I'm like, wait, what? He's like, you're fighting in Buffalo. You're now officially a UFC fighter. They're gonna find your opponent, and I just, oh man, I lost it. I was so happy. Good for you, man. No, that's so cool. Uh, the the way that kind of came together and all that. Who's the first person you told when you found out the news? Oh man, the minute I got the phone, I called my mom, and uh, it was it was so sweet. She like she started tearing up over the over the phone. Uh, it was great, you know. She she just like I know how hard you've been working for this, and it, it was great, man. It was a great moment. And and you know, I'm sure you got a lot of positive feedback from you know your friends, your family, everything like that. Did, was there one sort of message that stood out that really you know congratulating you on this contract, and you know someone someone that really sort of meant a lot to you? Um. Really, really, my mom, man, you know, her just hearing, uh, you know, the emotions in her voice and, you know, uh, the one thing that stood out was she, she just told me, she's like, I know how hard you work for this. She's like, you know, you come from such a small town, mm -hmm. um, you know, everybody, you know, you, there's so many hiccups you had and, uh, you know, she's proud that I just kept chasing my dream. You know, she, she was like, man, have a dream and believe in it, you uh, know, and that's really what it was. I just had a dream and I stuck with it. Yeah, and was there any, ever a point where you felt like maybe this wouldn't happen? Because I, I, I you and I have talked, for, we've done how many interviews, I don't know how many, and I, at least once, I'm always asking, is this going to be the fight you're going to get? Is this going to be the fight? Like, was there ever any doubt, doubt about you, you know, potentially not getting signed? Um, no, you know, I always knew, and I promise you, like, I always knew I was going to get to the UFC. It's like my, my destiny. Like, I just knew it was meant for me. But uh, it was definitely times where I'm just like, all right, damn, when? You know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, a question was, is, uh, if I was going to get there, I knew I was, but it just was like, when? You know what I mean? I'm like, geez, what else do I got to do? You know, I, I beat so many tough guys. I got, like, a great record. Um, you know, I just, I'm like, man, I always knew I'm like, you know, just when the right opportunity presents itself. And, uh, I mean, what better opportunity than getting to fight an hour away from my hometown? 
uh, the, the place I went to college at, you know, so it's just like, you know, you stay down till you come up, you get rewarded for, uh, you know, your diligence. And the cool thing about this too, uh, your teammate, Anthony Rumble Johnson is headlining the card. What does that mean to make your debut alongside one of your good friends? Oh man, it's great. You know what I mean? And not only him, we got Kamara Usman on the card right, too. Yep. So, uh, you know, the energy in the room is just up here. You know what I mean? Like even last week, you know, uh, Rumble came in the room and he's like, all right, you know, he's, he's all hyped up. He's like, let's get it, boys. You know, he's talking to me and Kush. He's like, you know, we gotta, we gotta go show out in April. You know what I mean? So it's nice because I kind of get to ride that, that title, uh, feeling like, you know, I'm not fighting for the title, but he is, you know, everybody, you know, we're one in the same. So, you know, it's just like everybody's energy is up and uh, it's crazy, man. I used to look, I used to sit at home in my boy's crib and watch this guy on TV. And now, you know, I mean, I'm fighting along, I'm helping him in this camp. It's, uh, it's really surreal. I just can't believe it. Yeah. And what was the morale like last week? Not only with you getting signed, but Andre Sukumta as well. Like it must've just been crazy at the, at the gym last week. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Everybody was happy, you know what I mean? We all, sorry, we all, we all was uh, super hyped, you know what I mean? Andre, it's funny, Andre is one of my good friends, and uh, every Saturday we coach a little uh, a kids league together. And, uh, you know, when I got signed, Andre is like, man, he's like, congrats. He's like, well, Blas, it's my time now. He's like, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just going to be patient just like you. And I kind of had the same talk on my like, yo. Just don't stop dreaming, bro. I'm like, I know you're going to get there. And we, neither one of us had any idea it was going to be a week later. But, uh, you know, it was, it was great. And how tough was it keeping a secret when you did find out? Because you're a guy who's really active on social media. You post the Snapchat videos all the time. Like, you were like, I remember, because I, I always kind of, you know, follow your social media. And, like, nothing was happening. I was like, is everything okay with Dez? And then, obviously, I know why now, because you kind of had to keep things under wraps. Yeah. Oh, bro. It was so hard. It was so hard. I, I couldn't even stay on social media. I like, I literally, I logged out of my social media on my, on like all my accounts. Like I didn't even want to go on because if I would have posted anything and somebody would have asked, like I would have spilled the beans. I'm like, you know, like for a whole month, like the whole month of February, I didn't even post. Like you said, like I was just like ghost. I was like, oh, it was killing me every day. I'm like, oh, cause I knew like, you know, I knew for sure. Like I knew, um, probably almost for a month now and I knew my opponent almost for like two weeks so you know I, I kind of knew everything was official and set up you know what I mean I'm like ah, oh, I just want to tell everybody and they're like oh you can't announce it yet you can't announce it yet I'm like jeez <laughs> and, and what are your thoughts initially on the matchup here Josh Emmett undefeated guy um, you know t- top fighter and uh, never gets easy in the UFC so uh, you know what are your thoughts on the matchup no, I actually love the matchup. Um, you know, you know me. I'm always looking for the best competition, and uh, I was really excited. I'm like, nice, perfect. They give me a good guy for my first fight. Um, you know, it was 11 and 0, um, two and 0 in the UFC. Uh, you know, he's a scrapper. Um, a great fight, but I think it's a good fight for me. You know what I mean? I'm, I have the height, the reach. Um, I think I have better wrestling and stand up too, to be honest. So uh, I think it's a great fight for me to show my skills and uh, a tough win. It'll look good for me. And what sort of training camp going to look like for you the next couple of weeks? Like, what are you doing this week? And and you know, so, as far as what you're focusing on, because we're you know, a while out from the fight. So I imagine now it's just sort of getting right into it. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, Right now, it's just uh, like you said, it's a grind time. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of hard workouts, a lot of a lot of reps, and uh, you know, um, good hard sparring. You know, I've been trying to go with guys. Uh, you know, his height, because you know, I'm, I'm a bit taller than him. Um, he's five six and a half. I'm five ten and a half. So, you know, I really just been trying to go with guys that mimic him. Uh, really, not even trying to for this. I'm not trying to change too much up. I don't want to, like, you know, like, oh, it's my first UFC fight. I got to do everything different because then I'll get out there and, you know, do things different. So I just been really trying to do the same thing, uh, you know, get better everywhere and, uh, you know, just get prepared. Uh, before I let you go here, one thing I kind of want to get your thoughts on, um, you know, w- which was kind of in the news is, you know, what happened with the Black Zillions? You know, you're at Combat Club now. You know, there's a lot of you guys that have kind of gone over there, but there's been a bit of a split in the team. You know, certain guys training with certain coaches. Um, from your perspective, what sort of happened and how tough was that to deal with, you know, seeing guys um, like, like you know, kind of bicker and, and not get along quite well? Yeah, uh, you know, it's a, it's a bit uh, distracting, but really... Um, the t- a lot of the teammates try not to pay attention to it. You know, like I kind of got my same training partners. You know, I split time. I do. I go to the combat club and I also uh, stop by CSMMA. 
um, with the uh, other t part of the Black Zillion team. But, uh, you know, as for me, like, my training partners are still the same. Like, you know, I still work with Mike, uh, Kush, Gilbert, um, you know, like those guys. So uh, Jason Jackson. But, um, you know, it, it, like you know, like I said, it is real evident, you know, certain coaches are getting along, certain people over here, over there. We uh, Most of the fighters just try to stay out of it, keep the same routine, and, uh, you know, hopefully everything will get better soon. <laughs> Well, no, and I just seeing your videos and everything, like everything you guys are doing, you guys get along great. So it seemed like, you know, you weren't really affected by it, but it, maybe there were some other guys yeah. that, you know, this and that. I guess for you, it didn't really change much because all the guys you hang out with, you're still training with. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much the case with me. Before I let you go here, last question. Um, Netflix. I imagine you're a Netflix guy. What are you watching right now? Um, Netflix is uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I'm a big cartoon fan, but uh, yeah, Legend of Tomorrow, DC. Have you seen that uh, O.J. Simpson uh, 30 for 30 uh, Made in America documentary yet? Yeah, yeah, it's actually really great. It's yeah, good. no, I was talking to someone about this the other day, and it made me like remind people, because people always ask me for my recommendations, and that's one that's like so good, Yeah, the, the five-part series. Yeah, so. yeah, for sure it is, it is. And me being a Bills fan, uh, you know, it was even greater. I loved O.J. growing up. Uh, you know, it's just nice to get a little insight on that. Yeah, and, and you know what, what's that going to be like for you? You know, fighting. Uh, I know the arena is different; it's HSBC Arena now. But uh, you know, just to, to compete in Buffalo in that big stadium must be pretty cool for you to fill. Uh, you know, fulfill that dream. Oh yeah, for sure, man, for sure. I can't wait. And uh, you know, like I said, even I went to University at Buffalo um, Division One, so you know, I built up such a fan base in Buffalo um, from that alone. You know, I got so many people excited to come see me. Yeah, I was going to say, is your your family's probably coming out for that? Oh yeah, man! I got a lot. I got a lot of people coming out for that one. It's gonna be nice. Uh, I remember your fight in Bellator. I was live for that as well. I remember. I think it was your mom or your aunt or someone was in the crowd yelling for you. Is I'm assuming that person's gonna be there as well. Yeah, yeah. It's probably my mom. You yeah, can hear she. Uh, man, her voice echoes. Yeah, yeah she. <laughs> you know, she'll be there. You know, front row and center. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was Bellator 119 at Casino Rama, and I'm in press row, and literally all I see a couple rows ahead of me is this woman just yelling, go Dez, go Dez, and I was like, yeah, man, this guy's yeah. got some nice support there. <laughs> yeah, for sure, that's Mob Dukes for you. <laughs> that's even how she was back in high school and college around my wrestling tournaments. You hear her in the stands yelling like, go baby. <laughs> Awesome. Funny. Good stuff, man. Okay, well, we're going to be back here next week, so uh, we'll definitely uh, catch up with you then. But, Des, in the meantime, where can people find you on social media? And if you got any uh, sponsors, any shout outs, anything like that, man, the floor is yours. Uh, yeah, so um, on Twitter and Instagram, I'm at uh, Predator Tune. It's uh, P R E D A T O R Tune, T O O N. And then um, on Facebook, you can catch my fan page, Desmond the Predator Green, or, uh, you know, my regular page, Desmond Green. Um, and then uh, I'm also on Snapchat at Random Tune, R A N D O M Tune. And, uh, you know, shout out, uh, big thanks to my manager, Glenn Robinson, you know, uh, setting this deal up and, uh, you know, making my dream come true. And, uh, you know, big, uh, big ups to my family, Mom Dukes. Uh, can't wait to make this UFC debut win, this UFC.